Speaking of the Tropic, someone turned the switch back on because we've got four areas we're monitoring. Believe it or not, that's the remnants of Paulette. Remember Paulette that formed back in early September? It's still meandering out here, uh, just not really going to do much more than likely. This area is not going to be an issue for us. What we're focused on are the two spots in the Caribbean. Of course, we have Tropical Storm Gamma that formed yesterday and this tropical wave down in the eastern Caribbean. I'll talk more about that in just a second. First on Gamma because Gamma has really blown up into a pretty impressive storm this morning. It's about to make landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula here. 65 mile per hour sustained winds. That was as of 7 a.m. However, it has been continuously strengthening up on landfall. And you can see there, notice as it gets closer to landfall, you get that tight little circulation developing with the storms. That's just a sign that it was continuing to organize. So the good news, it's run out of real estate moving into land. It will weaken once it moves into land and notice northwest moving at nine miles per hour. That will likely continue at least through tonight going into tomorrow. But notice what happens. It weakens as it gets right into the southern Gulf of Mexico, makes that hard west turn, continuing to move west, even southwest as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, continuing to weaken as it just kind of plants itself down in the southern Bay of Campeche. And that's where it will likely just kind of sit down there and more than likely dissipate. So that is good news. It does not look like this is going to cause any issues for the United States at this moment, but of course it's going to cause a lot of rain wind and surge for portions of Mexico and Central American Evo western parts of Cuba. Tropical tracker looking at this tropical wave. This is what will more than likely be focused on here in the United States as we go into next week. Not much with it right now. It's south of the Dominican Republic, north of South America. There just an area of showers and storms. Probably not going to do much over the next day or so, but as it gets into uh, south of Cuba through the northwestern Caribbean into the southern Gulf by the beginning of next week, it will have a chance to start to organize. It's going to be moving into an environment of relatively low shear and our cold fronts are eventually going to stop. So we do need to keep an eye on that one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's Gamma. Notice Gamma moves to the north, runs into this cold front coming down send in in Monday that will turn it west sits down here in the Bay of Campeche just sits there kind of dissipates rains itself out. Here's our next disturbance coming into the Gulf. This is by Wednesday. We'll have to watch this doesn't look like much right now, but our models have been playing catch up all year long. So we'll need to watch that one close by the end of next week. In the